everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. So today I'm going to talk about a different topic. Uh, it's to do with the Apex. So I'm going to talk about a feature called with security and force, right? So as you know that Apex generally runs in a system context, right? Uh, so that is that uh, the current user permission and field level security aren't taken into account during code execution, which makes sense, right? So now what happens when you use with security and force, right? Uh, it enables field and object level security permission, uh, checking for so-called select queries in Apex code, uh, which includes sub queries and cross object relationship, right? So I'm gonna demonstrate what I meant by this, right? So uh, the before I gonna demonstrate this functionality, I just wanted to uh, mention something which is very important. Uh, please do not use this feature if you're using an API version less than 45, right? If your API version is greater than 45, then this functionality is recommended. If you wanted to use it, if if you are not using uh, API version um, 45 or above, or let's say if you're using 44 or 43, uh, then with security and force is not recommended. Uh, to be used okay right so the first thing first you need to have an org if you do not have an org please register for one I've talked about it zillions of times right cool so I've logged into an org so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to developer console to uh, to do this uh, demonstration right um, you can use Visual Studio Code if you are comfortable with that but for now just to keep the demo simple uh, nice and easy so I'm gonna use to I'm gonna use the developer console right so the way to go to developer console you can see this gear cog icon at the top right hand corner um just go here and go to developer console right it will take you right to the developer console nothing fancy so let me clear off all the options i have right and then let's create a new class you're gonna say um security yeah come on security and class so, right you can give meaningful name this is just for demonstration right okay so i'm going to create a, a test method here you can say public static void s m t d right one okay so we because we're gonna do two methods here just to give you a demonstration okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna populate a few contacts right so i'm gonna get say id first name and email from a contact object and a display using a debug message that's all i'm going to do right so because the reason why i wanted to do that i wanted to uh use this functionality uh without uh security and force then i want to use with security and force and you will see the difference okay so the so what we're going to do we're going to do try everything is good to put under try catch right and just gonna put exception. Ah, sorry, sorry. It's just, this weather has been a bit hot today. It's just uh, it's the middle of a summer in New Zealand, and as you know that I'm not a fan of a summer. I'm a winter person, so summer kind of exhausts me, and yeah, it just makes me tired. I mean, I just don't like summer to be honest. Okay, all right. Sorry, I digress. Okay, let me. Get this stuff here. Contact so ct equals to uh, select id uh, first name uh, email from contact. Uh, let me limit this to five contacts, right? Or let's even limit it to two. You know, doesn't matter. Okay. So we have a contact here. So let's loop through the list. Okay. So we're gonna do contact c c t. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do system debug, okay. Um, so I'm gonna do ID. Um, so C dot ID, okay. Uh, let me copy this, and let me do this for uh, okay email and uh, first name, okay. Um, first name. Let me do this for email as well. Okay. All right. So nothing fancy, right? Okay. So before I run this uh, meta, right? Before I execute it, 
let me go back to the contact object and let me fiddle with the email field right I'll show you what I'm trying to do so let's go back to the object manager and let's go to contact okay um, and so I'm gonna do contact okay let me go to the email field right and let's go to email and let me uh, change the field level security okay uh, let me make it invisible for every profile right so I'm gonna make uh, email field invisible to every profile right okay so that's great now let's go back to the apex code right uh, let's run this under uh, debug mode so we're gonna go here and we're gonna do test oh, come on d1 okay all right let's run and see what happens okay so as you can see that um, it will run without any problems all right we don't have any email so you know it runs right no problem whatsoever okay now what's the difference here so what we're gonna do here now this is like uh, as I explained that uh, apex run assistant context right so we don't have any problem here now see the difference here if I do here something like this with security uh, enforced right save it you won't see any problem here okay Oh, sorry. This all okay. Right. So now, when we run this, right now, you'll see the magic. What happens, right? So I have enforced uh, the security here, right? Which is. Uh, uh, I've enabled basically field and object level security permission checking for this query now let's run go back here and run it and if you remember I have actually made email field invisible to all profile right so let's see what happens it taking its own sweet time sometimes this is weird right okay so now right insufficient permission secure query included inaccessible inaccessible field right so that's the first thing right you can't query a field which is invisible using with security and force right so it's not gonna work so that's the one thing right so this is very important if you're if you wanted to use this functionality but for some reason if any of the field is hidden or invisible right for the profile uh, so it won't work right it will give you that insufficient uh, right insufficient permission thing right uh, another thing I wanted to talk about uh, polymorphic field right so a polymorphic field is not a traversing in other words a polymorphic field relationship is not supported uh, in queries with uh, the security and force right so polymorphic fields right so it's very different to a, a polymorphic relationship is very uh, different to a lookup relationship or mass detail right so le let me give you an example right uh, so when you create a polymorph sorry when you create a, a relationship right let's say on a custom object on a standard object you often link it to a single object right let's say I have a contact object right and I wanted to link it to say a custom object I developed say for instance a pay object so usually you can make a lookup or a master detail relationship and you have only option to link it uh, using uh, one object right you can't pretty much link a um, using a same lookup let's say uh, from this current example right I have a pay object and I have 
say a uh, tax object right and I wanted to link a uh, to contact right so normally under normal scenario what you do you either make a master detail or either make a lookup let's say you're making lookup relationship right so you obviously uh, end up in creating two lookup here right one with the tax one the pay now imagine if you wanted to have the same field look up to tax and pay right instead of creating a two field you create one field right but you look up to both tax and pay right that is what called the polymorphic relationship and it's not really supported for a custom object it's only supported as of i've seen only for the standard objects so uh, you can't actually use the polymorphic uh in uh, um in this uh uh, using with security so let me demonstrate it for you so let me create another method here okay public static void uh, test uh, empty the one uh, sorry two okay and um, just uh, okay so I'm gonna do list of task right okay so there's an object called task object okay okay so uh, so you see t equals to select um okay so let me uh give you uh, let me run something in the query editor right so let's see uh select uh id right of uh, who dot um, name from task right so let's see what happens so you get this you know pretty much you know whatever it is and you can also get um probably who dot type right uh, so you get contact contact right so these are the polymorphic field what we have right so the type this who dot name so this who right that's a polymorphic field right it could be a contact it could be an account it could be whatever right so that's why uh, I said that this who points who dot type it could point to different type right but think about in the lookup relationship right when you do a lookup relationship dot type it's always points to one right it could be the tax or it could be your pay right so so that's why i'm saying that uh in if you use with security and force uh, it's not supported uh for a, a polymorphic uh, field so uh, let me show you what i meant by that okay so select okay id um who dot name from task right okay with security uh, enforced okay I'm not doing any anything complicated here okay all right let me save it and let's see if it saves okay uh, um let's see what happens here right see it is not supported this is what you get right polymorphic field who is not supported in a query using with security now I remove this okay and I'll try to save it it will work so that's one of the thing you should keep into consideration right it will not work with this uh, polymorphic field right so read about the documentation about with security and force and see if you if, if you wanted to use it just use it wisely right uh, this is something I wanted to uh, demonstrate that's all I wanted to talk about today right I'll put a link uh, to that help documentation for with secure uh, right uh, from trail, uh, not from the trailhead, from a, uh, from the help documentation of Salesforce, right? Uh, so I will put the link to the description below if you're interested, if you have time, read about it and see what you feel, right? So this is something I feel it's a very important feature, right? And uh, you can use it if you think that's just something you are after, right? Uh, so yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about today. So greetings and adios from New Zealand. Take care.